folks to Jack Payne's Food Pains, where the traffic lights go from straight from green to red. Hey. <sighs> Anyhow, I got to give two shout outs in this video. One, two, and I'm going to butcher this name into prime rib, I guarantee it. Farazan Elia. I'll put the name up. Scroll around, I'll put it right here. Look, the name's going to be right here. Right there. He had gotten into the Brentwood's owner's manual, and he found the spot. Where I was wondering, people saying, warm up the Brentwood with the lid open. I looked in that son of a bitch. I couldn't find that thing nowhere. But he found it. He, she, I don't know. Might be a she. The person found it. On page three, it's right there. Let me show you. I don't know if I'll let you read it. But it says it right here. With the cooking plate with the lid up. I don't know if you can read it. But it's there. Right in the owner's name. Great eye. Great eye. So anyhow, the next shout out goes to Jay Gorey. I think I could butcher that one into like Chuck Rose maybe. He says, hey there flower child, pansy. <laughs> he says, uh, okay, you pulled out flower tortillas, little flower man. What about us real men or women who like corn tortillas? Now, Jay tells me on the post there, he says, he's thinking about buying one. But he's concerned that if the uh, plates are non-stick, that if the damn corn tortilla will stick to that plate. I got to tell you, I, I have not made a corn tortilla in on that thing. I have not done it. And it's going to be the first time. It's going to be the first time. So you're going to see it here with me. But if I was a betting man, I would say, I don't think it's got a chance of hell of sticking to that thing. That thing's so slick, if a fly lands on it, it'll bust his ass. So that's where I'm putting my money. I'm saying no. But, let me show you here. I got the tortilla. She's just salivating, getting all nice and hydrated. So we're going to make these things. And I'm going to put a timer on it. I'm going to time it. I'm going to heat the thing up with the plate up and see how long it takes to heat up. Because I'm telling you, with the plate down, I'm talking well over 10 minutes. Well over. 15, 20 minutes maybe. So let's check it out. Oh, by the way, I want you guys to be very careful what you say. I just learned that some of my practitioners, my health practitioners, watch my channel. They've been checking out my videos. Fuck you, John! <laughs> okay. No, don't fuck you, John. You're okay. Keep watching. I need the views. Tell your other practitioners, say, hey, watch this dumb fuck. All right? Tell them. You! You tell them. Alright, let's get on this. Top's up. Timer's on. I don't know if you can read the timer or not. Might be able to. It's reading 1 minute 11 seconds. Right now. So we're going to see how long it takes to heat up. Okay. I may not have spotted it, but the ready light is definitely on at 12 minutes 30 seconds. I think I heard it kick on at about 10.15. So it does make a difference. Heat it with the lid up. I don't know what the scoop is at, but there's a difference. So just do it. Just do it. I got my dough balls rolled out. We'll bring them over and get them going. All right, these dough balls are at 60 grams. The most of them, there's two of them in there. It's 57, I think it's this one and this one. Come out a little light at the end, but that's okay. Get the camera set up and we'll fire off our first dough ball. We'll do as they say in the book. Mash it out by hand. Like so, you look for cracks. If you got cracks like that, that's probably not no good. I probably didn't do it right, but we'll see. And here we go. I don't hear no woo like I did with the... Oh, look at that. That's horrible. That's horrible, guys. That is no good. Told you. First time. Look at that crap. Is it too hot? Try another one. Ooh, it's hot. Try another one. Just a quick blast. Whoops. Look what she did. She slid out on me. Man, these things suck. Ain't no wonder nobody wants to make them. A little bit better. Still got some holes in it. But I'm learning. Got to be quicker on the draw. 
plenty slick enough though. Look at that. Spin it around. Let's see if I get a flip on this. There are people actually complaining that I ain't using my fingers to do this. Oh! Why no? Oh! Good God! Look how junk these things are. I would love somebody show me the correct way to make these son of a bitches. Got holes in it, guys. How in the hell do you get holes in your tortilla? Plenty slick enough. Got the flip. I put more water in than what the recipe said. That plenty slick enough, though. You don't have to worry about that getting stuck to that. I'll flip it over. I'll try to put this down on it. Definitely no lift of the raise of the lid. I just don't know how to tell when they're done. I'm going to consider that done. Yeah, it definitely doesn't stick. It slides right off the freaking thing. I'm going to put it over there. Let it cool down. Make a couple more. look too bad it's crackly at the corners let me spin that around you see that crackliness there i don't think that's good for anything i think it's just uh too dry maybe i shouldn't let the dough rest i don't know a lot of steam coming off That's bullshit. Bullshit. Uh, I'm going to find different recipes. Hey, look at that. That one didn't come out too bad. Let them sit before they flip. Let them sit for a long time. How cool is that? Yeah! Ha ha ha! Okay. You definitely don't want to leave the lid down too long. Look! Exploded! I love it! Okay, here's the last one, folks. Let's apply what we've learned of this last one. First thing we learn, we close the lid, close it, and get it off as fast as you can. Just do it that quick. Boom! Off! Okay. That we learn. Number two. Two we learn. Let it cook for a long time on your first side. It's going to fall apart when you try and flip it if you don't. You know, I've, I've tried making core tortillas in the past. Not on this thing, but on the cast iron. And they, they tend to fall apart. They're very fragile. Number three. You're not going to get the lift out of them like you do flour. I don't know. Maybe with a different recipe. But I'm going to show you what I got after this one's done. You're going to be astounded. Alright guys. This is tortillas I made. Ones that came out half of success. And this pile of goo is what happened. Got this and this. Out of 10 tortillas that I made, 5 of them. A 50% success rate. I cannot blame the machine. The machine did what it's supposed to. Heat it up, press it out. But, me, all operator error. Like I said, first time trying the machine. You seen what happened when I left the damn lid down? The damn thing exploded. Boom! Like it was, I don't know, fireworks, 4th of July. But, uh, I'm gonna look for a different recipe. I don't believe the recipe that I took off the bag. I don't think it's no good. So anyhow, that's all I got, folks. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Hope we learned a little something together on this one. So, 
Get a good recipe if you're going to try it on that. And please remember, press that lid down get it off. Don't leave it down on there the first time around. It's going to explode. I'll call this a 50% fail. Pass on the machine, fail on the operator. I will come back after I tried a few of these things on here. I got plenty of that masa crap corn crap left. I'll try some different recipes that I can find out on the old interweb. And we'll have at it. Now I got to figure out what the hell to do with these things. I got an idea. Next video. Yep. Okay, I'm out. Hey!